So Trippy Red has just released his new album, which is a deluxe to his previous album, Pegasus, which is called Pegasus Neon Shark. Now I can't lie, when I first heard he was releasing a deluxe album for Pegasus, I was a bit skeptical. One, I'm sure everyone knows the reception of Pegasus wasn't the best. It was, well, it was quite rushed. The mixing was very poor, quite weird. The theme didn't really fit the songs he put into the album. I listened to Pegasus numerous times and while I did like a few songs, a lot of the songs just felt weirdly in place. Like Trippy Red usually has a theme in his album, which is why Life's a Trip was so good because it literally took you on a trip. Hence why it was called Life's a Trip. Pegasus, on the other hand, didn't make me feel like I was going to a galaxy or floating in space. It put me in different moods. The introduction to Pegasus was quite nice, I quite liked the intro, but then you reach a point where certain songs just fall really flat and they're quite forgettable. My two favourite songs off the album are probably Personal Favourite and V12, just because it kind of gives me that old trippy red vibe slash his actual Pegasus feel. And of course, excitement with Party Next Door is a banger and I love it. But other than that, the album wasn't that great as it should have been. So when I heard Trippy was gonna release a rock album as part of his deluxe, I was quite interested in this. Then I saw that it was being produced with Travis Barker and I really had my interest peaked. Now, as you know, Travis Barker was the drummer in Blink-182 and Blink-182 was one of the bands that helped shape my teenage goth era <laughs> as i put it so i was really excited to see a familiar face and hear a familiar sound and then i thought this album would, could actually be really good so what were my thoughts on neon shark after hearing all this and after listening to this album a couple times as soon as it dropped well this may be an unpopular opinion but depending on who you hear review this or who you hear listen to trippy red isn't hip-hop's most favorite artist. He's had his fair share of criticism over the last couple of years, particularly with Pegasus, which is understandable. And I've seen mixed uh, reviews towards A Love Letter to You 4 and everyone absolutely hated Explanation Mark because it was garbage. So I wouldn't be surprised if people had mixed reviews towards this album or just didn't like it. But personally for me, I thought this album was quite decent it's really really decent i will say that i did feel some songs should have been mixed better especially songs like frozen ocean it was probably my least favorite song on this deluxe it sounded very choppy his vocals were all over the place i couldn't tell if he was singing at times or just pure screaming it was hard to make out what trippy was saying i shared the same thoughts towards other songs like female shark and it's coming they just sounded a bit lackluster and fell really flat but besides that i did enjoy quite a huge chunk of the other songs in this album first of all pale breaker that was such a fire intro i did not expect black bear and machine gun kelly to come on that hard but to be fair machine gun kelly has done the punk rock genre really well in his music and i really like the direction that he took from rapping to just doing rock his voice suits it his lyrics work really well so i wasn't surprised that this song came out as such a banger without you was such a pleasant song to hear it took me back to the old days of rock music that i really enjoyed that 2012 feel that vibe of just hard rock was brilliant travis barker did an amazing job with this song and i loved it i enjoyed it it just took me back on a wave and i absolutely loved this song and i found myself listening to it again and again swimming sounded like a freaking anime opening and i love anime so when i heard swimming i just it just felt like oh yes this is a song i would put in between uh the pain arc and just as sasuke is gonna fight itachi like that song sounded so good like think of any shonen anime you would watch and you're getting into the season where shit's just popping off and this is the song that you would play swimming sounded so good ah i love it so much when i saw that chino moreno 
was in a featured song i think i squealed like a little schoolgirl. for anyone who doesn't know chino moreno is the lead singer and lead guitarist in the band deftones and deftones has released songs like change be quiet and drive and digital bath and i enjoyed their music as i was younger as well so listening to chino moreno on this album on this song felt like honey the song was so good i had to release it to it again it definitely gave me that grudge that emo sounding feel to rock and i really really appreciate the diversification of sound like the album wasn't just straight pop rock or punk rock or hard rock it also included such elements and i was really impressed with the versatility that trippy was showing megalodon really encapsulated trippy as an artist and the type of sound that trippy can bring to both hip-hop and rock as a genre he has this raspy and grunge style sound that's always been prevalent in his music and his previous albums and Megalodon just combined it and just showcased it in a greater light. It really showed how versatile Trippy can be if he takes his time with his music and his sound. Megalodon was fire and I've seen a lot of people online say it was one of their favorite songs and I think that reception should be shared generally because Megalodon just sounded amazing it gave you that rock but also gave you trippy so you could definitely tell that this was a trippy red song and for people who miss life's a trip trippy or a love letter to you three trippy they will be impressed with this song dead dessert also surprised me it was a dead desert dead desert <laughs> also surprised me i didn't like the song at first just based off the leaks i heard it was quite all over the place, quite choppy, and I thought it was going to sound trash. But uh, listening to it again, it really grew on me. I really like it. It's just something about the song. I don't know what to explain, but I just enjoyed it. I think Scar Lord sounded great on it. The songs sounded great. For anyone who likes The Grinch from A Love Letter to You 4, they're going to enjoy Dead Desert. <laughs> so yeah, they will definitely enjoy this track and i don't really have much to say about it it's just a really good song some people may hate it and it's understandable if you don't like it if you're someone that doesn't like this type of genre or this sound by trippy you if you didn't like the grinch or sort of the rock vibes from trippy i don't expect you to really like this album but you might and also there's fans of rock who may not like this album for the reasons i have given earlier they just may have felt like it doesn't sound like good rock or just sounded very choppy or all over the place which are still understandable points but in my personal opinion i think this album had a lot of potential to be better than what we were given but it's still very enjoyable and it's certainly 10 times better than Pegasus in my opinion and I just wish that this album or this deluxe was actually a separate album and it would have worked as a separate album it's 14 songs which is good for an album Trippy isn't someone who writes long songs anyway so his songs have never really reached that four four minute or four three minute length so a 14 song separate album that was just a rock album would have been much better and if it had more sort of better production songs that were less lackluster that didn't fall as flat and he really took his time i think this would have been a really really great album probably one of his best work to come out but for what it's worth, it is a decent album. I quite liked quite a bit of the songs, as I mentioned before. And I believe Travis Barker did a really, really good job with this album. And if they continue to work together, maybe on more separate projects, I could see Trippy doing well in this direction. And I think it would be a really good turnaround for his music and also for his fans. I mean, if other artists can venture out and their fans can still enjoy their work, I don't see why Trippy shouldn't be able to explore different sounds that he feels should be better on the other hand this could just be a phase that he's in and he could drop this completely which would be quite sad so hopefully we see more of this type of trippy and more to come again like i said 
should really have been a separate album. 40 songs now on Pegasus is going to be quite overwhelming, especially when the majority didn't like the non-deluxe version of Pegasus anyway. So it's quite hard to see how much reception this is really going to get and how many times people are really going to go back and listen to this. I know for sure I'm definitely going to listen to some songs off of the deluxe album more so than I'm going to listen to songs off of Pegasus and that's just the truth. So let me know what you guys thought of the album. Did you enjoy it? Did you love it? Did you absolutely hate it and just thought that it was shit? Let me know below and I will see you on my next video.